is, is I'm, look, I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm going to see how it goes first. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't reserve judgment in any way. Uh, zero to zero. Pistol round going live. And Amp is going to be in the upper bomb site. S tag on top of the hut with dualies. Blame F lurking outside. And a couple of players jumping around to pressure towards heaven. Good gush under Rez. Yopper. Rez tagged down to 16. But yes, pistol round right now. So leave that aside. Sneaking down the vents. Brolin's the one that waits for them. But he's overwhelmed. He didn't even know because they walked down those vents. They were oopsie doopsie sneaky like. And it's Zipix that gets the op opening kill. Brolin down with Rez tagged. Downstairs held. Alexi B is going to have to be pretty perfect when he arrives. Alexi's just got to hold on for the moment, trying to just snap off ahead before everyone else kind of joins up with him. There's Rez with the kill. That's actually protecting his teammate, Alexi, in ramp room. So that's a good start. Three players coming from ramp room. Alexi making noise, though. They're up close, flashing around the corner. Zipix trying to hover the angle. He's gone. No one to counter peek on it. Glaive tries to do so late. Only manages one. And Alexi's added to that total. So blame F with Mr. The step in. Mr.'s gone. Blame's got the first. We knew he'd be the last alive, but he's got the bomb planted for him. They're going to try and meat shield this. They're going to try and hold it off. He needs to go for the defuser. He's got them both. Well done to get 3 nothing on the score for him and one nothing for Astralis. Yeah, three nice headshots from Blame F as it all comes crumbling down, as it all fell apart. That's beautiful work, and that's all you really can do in the situation is just try and body block the defuse. one and nothing for Astralis. Nice, easy walk, as you said, a stroll down vents to get the opening kill and really open up the entire map. Oh, yeah, baby. I feel like he gets more hype than anything when he wins a pistol round, when he's got like a pistol round highlight. We saw him with some dually kills that he went absolutely nuts for in the past. Second round by for NIP. Mister already inside of the site. Mac 10 is going to get on the board, doubling that up. He's got S tag as well. So looking reasonably comfortable with this first round. MP9 for Alexi B, the only real upgrade. Well, I say that, there's a Deagle, but the only big time upgrade they've got. And yeah, and now all they can do is save it. Just keep it in hand for the next round. Rinse and repeat, try it all over again. Because Mister gives him two devastating entry kills with the MAC-10. Nice job from him. Some bonus money built up. All right. What do you uh, What do you think of the whole NIP thing? You want to get into that now? You want to save it for later? No, we might as well get into it now. I mean, I'm not sure. It's such an unfortunate circumstance where you 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 pay the highest price ever for a transfer. Okay, you want to go no, way sure. back to the device the device thing. Yeah, you want to start from the beginning. But it, that is the beginning, right? That's when, look, it's been years of them chasing success again and trying to build various yeah. rosters um, since, obviously, the the, the the legendary NIP lineup. You've rebranded your color and logo and everything in that time. You really are trying to reinvent yourselves. You finally get a break at it by signing the most expensive transfer in history. You get Device, who's arguably the most consistent player of all time in CSGO. And unfortunately, due to outside of the server circumstances, that doesn't work out. And then it's just literally, I think them just trying to, to like duct tape the, the problem, okay. right? Like they're plug just- the, Plug the leaky holes. Yeah, as much as you can. And, and I'd love to see them get some success. Obviously they bring in Brolin as well, but it's and now Rez on the AWP. It's still like they haven't think, got that solid core that they need. I'm not gonna say it's like impossible for this all to work, but it's gonna take a lot of time. And I think the major is way too close for this to work. When you consider you're, you're transitioning your star rifler into an opera, you're bringing in a new in-game leader and you're transitioning to English. I think there's a lot of moving parts in this. Yep. So I think it's really it's really tough to have any faith of it. Not necessarily for the RMR, maybe they can sneak through, but for the major itself, and then and then maybe long term you see if there's anything worth still pursuing down this avenue. Yeah, and I mean if you picture having a, like a super 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 talented opera right now, and you can leave Res on the rifle with a guy like Brolin and the team with a with a mind like oh. Alexi B, there's something that can be done with that. But it is a, it is a big question mark right now. Mister gonna take down Alexi B. Speaking of, as Smoke reveals his position, and he was overlooked outside, so the man advantage does turn back in the favor of Astralis. Mister, 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 you listen to them. I have no idea who that is. Overrated band. Oh, okay. wait, that's Miss Mister. Sorry. Wrong oh. band. Yeah, it's okay. So Miss Mister is overrated, but Mr. Mister is all good? No, I don't even don't even know. No opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Two players in ramp room. One player in the upper bomb site, unarmored with a USP. Smokes down. Molotov bouncing downward onto the hut as well. I believe he's going to sneak inside. Not that time, actually. He's going to just plummet down. Yeah, sneaky to get to the vet and then, you know, pull the trigger, make the footsteps known. Only Hampus is anything that can really do damage. He's got armor as well. I, I mean, I think at a certain point, if one kill goes the way of Astralis at this point, 
you just kind of back off and save. Bomb has gone down, and if you're Hampus, just keep the armor in hand. I know it seems a little bit silly. Aztec's got one, Hampus the other, Here. and that might not, that might pull him forward to give it a shot. Two on two. Well, they're gonna tap this now. Farley has to come back down. He was already out of there. Glaive says, what are you hunting for? They found us. Oh, bomb, uh -oh. door shut, and then back turn. Hampus is bringing this down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Farley needs a kill in this game to get this started. Oh, he's gonna hold this. He's gonna hold this. No kit, 10 seconds. Oh, him off it just with a jump. Just That's with a crazy. little hop. Oh my lord, the nerves on Hampus. He was like, oh god. He bails out. Mac 10 recovered. Armor's still gonna be in hand. Nice attempt for an IP, but three to nothing for Astralis. What's funny is Hampus snapped to where there was like the, the, the hop came from, you know, Decon, and he snapped towards double doors. Boom. Good shooting with the Deagle. Just nothing left to do at the end of the day. Yes, he just completely the other side, and he's like, oh, I'm out. Peace. All right, first glimpse at Rez with the AWP. So we now will find out how this plays for them. Farling, speaking of AWP, is limited to just the Galil on the other side. Your favorite gun I've heard, Jason. I love the Galil. Yeah, that's because you are a little gay. Smoke ready to go for Mr. B-Stream. Wow, okay. I expected more from Aurora. Fnatic is currently up 14 to 4. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe it's because I was delusional. Yeah, it could be. It could very well be. See how he makes it on. Back to our round, though. We've got attacks outside. Glaive has lost his former wingman and blame F. Hampus still trying to push that smoke, but backs off ever so slightly. And the M4 in hand lets the smoke wall do its job, but it's an advantage for NIP to work with. Ooh, Glaive is down secret. Coming to the stairs. Farlig and... Mr. and Zipix are heading towards ramp rooms. They're gonna try and connect the two prongs of this attack. They've got Rez to deal with. First challenge for the AWP. He gets blinded, misses the blind shot. Gonna have to back away. A little bit of utility, a little bit of an attempt at a spam. It's a five on four. And outside they go. There's one defender downstairs at the moment, and that's Alexi B behind the silo. And Glaive's already spotted him out. Good kill for Alexi. His second one to follow up. Mr. trying to find out and redeem this situation. They go together. Zipix realizes it's probably not ideal to hold hands in this and wants to try and split the situation, but he's run back for the bomb instead. One on four. Clutch Minister, Whew. better be praying to his god right now. Does do damage on the Hampus, reads the repeat, but couldn't get the shot enough to kill on either. And he'll go down to make it 3-1. Yeah, two round lead for Astralis. Nice opening win for NIP to get on the board off. Still in the hands of Rez. Going into round number five. Alexi does a great job actually to get that second kill. That's everything, that's huge. And obviously the retake coming down secret is brutal. So NIP collapsed very, very well, well coordinated. They got some money built up because of a strong win as well. 2,000 on Brolin, same with S-Tag up there. Rez is right there as well. Round number five. Brolin's under some pressure in mini. Smoke to the door. Redress the one that was currently there as S-Tag tries to fire through. Not a lot to report after all of that exchange though. No, not at all. Alexi's gonna get a little aggressive behind the smoke. Rez is gonna join up with him as well. Two players in the upper bomb site, but this is a challenge. And if that all brings out true from Rez, it's gonna activate Alexi. Blame F turns, but it's a little bit late. So to start with Blame down. Mister trying to get above and outside to see back toward the garage. Bomb is back to be picked up by Farling now, but they've lost another. Mister's found. Brolin got that shot. We just cut away from where his position was on top of the Twinkie. And it's all going the way of NIP right now. Yeah, starting out to look really good. Five players are up, five on two. They can keep this round clean, then that's going to just propel their economy and moving forward. It is going to be clean. Hampus with the final two kills. Yeah, easy one on the Zipix position with that, the flash out. I think that's the most compelling part of these these like roster and rule changes for NIP. I think it's really easy and obviously for, for I think, I mean, legitimate reasons to kind of focus on some of the negative sides of it. But I guess the positive that you would go with if you wanted to was freeing up Hampus with his abilities and his individual skill. You take him off the leadership role and let's see what he can provide you on a consistent basis. So Alexi B 
his fourth international lineup. First, I suppose, was an international, but certainly tier one was Entz. Obviously, all finished at the time. OG didn't really go super swimmingly for him there. Had success with G2 and now NIP. So he's been around the block. At, yeah. this, at this point, we can't give him that free pass of being sort of the new swan song. He's got to have the experience now to get it done. And so far, it's looking okay. Yeah, I mean, he's been in a, he's been in like a, a lot of really tough projects to make work as well, right? Like the OG one, like kind of a yeah. huge roster coming together, trying to build a team from scratch in that sense. And then also going over to G2, a team that already has kind of an established core and trying to fit into that one and trying to bring a lot of players to his idea of a play style that didn't work. So yeah, this, this is going to be, this will be another challenge, but he's got a ton of experience and he's probably been through enough trials and tribulations to be able to take things away from that, those, uh, and see what kind of an in-game leader he can become moving forward. It's not an easy role to fill. It's not as black and white necessarily as other ones. 3-3, three, three, all tied up. And all gun rounds for NIP, which is the crucial part of it. Farling again is going to be on the Galil, so he's not going to have the hop once more. They've only dropped one player NIP in the past three rounds. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a really good stretch once the guns have come out. Oh, well, look at the money as a result of it, right? Yeah, it's ballooned. Flame F is... Trying to get toward radio, got smoked off on it. He hasn't been too successful in the opening part of rounds as of late. In fact, he's gone down first in the last two, so he needs to be a little bit more careful with his positioning and trying to get that map control. Hampus, meanwhile, is the one that's going to rotate down below with Alexi B, so they're going to double the secret position. Hmm. No smoke wall as of yet. And this, uh, yeah, I was going to say, this suggests that they're actually going to walk straight out. Why would you put two there otherwise? Positioned well trade off of this smoke wall is going to go down so he's going to expect that they'll be inside the red crate always oh, spotted though patience i think may have been better off for him now they're aware and the flash has come out they've got him removed and no trade potential alexi b he's playing the offside though he could cut them off in this corner glaive's going to walk straight into a clean one one but has to fall off yeah but back to the upper bomb site they put a lot of tension outside let's see if they can astralis blow up here as tag looking towards door astralis taking a little bit of time to make the decision to pull the trigger on this now brolin's going to be and Mini as well, over the top. s -tag goes one for one. Brola can't get it done. Good kills from Blame F. Those are the entries needed. Rez is dropped from below before he can even begin. And Alexi just has to bail out. There's no chance in this, so this will be the first gun round finally going back to Astralis of the four that we've had. Try and save this in the control room. Tons of money, but it's an AK on the CT side, which you'd like to hold on to. He is maybe going to run into Blame F, though. And I think Blame F has the better angle in this situation. So down he goes. Blame F finding his seventh kill in this game. So he leads the way right now for Astralis. But Alexi B, equal to that. And Hampus, one better. That's a good point that you made as well, because now he's freed up. We get to see a lot more of his individual skill. I mean, even even during stretches of being an in-game leader, he was, he was had an incredible individual production, incredible fragging, incredible impact for his team. So, I, I mean, it goes to reason. Maybe you see that, may, maybe not like a higher peak, but certainly with more consistency, which would be absolutely wonderful. One round lead for Astralis. Nades. Utility to stop any kind of a fast play. Try to. Brolin already inside close door this time, so the smoke goes a bit deeper. That's going to give him a chance to try and shut down anyone that runs to the vents. We know how powerful that's become again. Rez has an off angle toward the ramp, but he's trying to elevate himself on the ledge to use. Headshot position. So far in this, he's two and three. We haven't seen the op really go outside yet. But it's definitely something to keep an eye on in this game. Sure, it's the best of one. It's the first day of the RMR, but we want to see how Rez is going to perform on the AWP. That's not bad. That's a good performance, taking out Glaive. Yeah, that's a good shot and the drop down to keep himself safe as well. Brolin's now the one up next. Smoke's gonna clear. Zipix looking just for this, but Brolin's a little bit faster. A little bit more on target. Farling with the trade. Oh, and Mister's brought down low as well. Good work from Brolin to hold this off, and Astralis has to look elsewhere. Blame F has lurked in towards ramp room. 30 seconds on the clock, and he's gonna try and wrap up heaven, but there's a player to deal with. There's Hampus to deal with. 
Half sneaking around, but you're right, Hampus is the one to find. Tough position to get him out of. He's gonna go, oh, oh dear. Yeah, that's gonna put Hampus on notice, and that's gonna tell Blame F. Well, not for me. This play, yeah. not for me. Didn't even try and hold the angle, just tried to run from it. He's like, uh oh, I'm out. And it's gonna be Brolin that closes out the round four to four, so right back to tie. That was unfortunate, trying to be sneaky to get up on top of the AC unit. That might have been somewhat of an opening in the round if he could get to heaven, but either way, down he goes. Too heavy for them jumps. Yeah, he's too got muscular. way too many too elements of danger. Round number nine. the play on the tech nines mister gonna try and swing this Ooh, with another step further he may have spotted it instead he jumps to his death res does hit one from far glaive was spotted hampus was the wide side swing that we didn't get to see as we were watching mister jumping over the top he gets tagged as well though down to 26 alexi b this time will take over the radio room with res covering off the yard good find good shots clean and concise Ooh, Rez. Nice deep angle, no real danger for him. Glaive doesn't give him the peak he wanted. Just for the Tech-9, Glaive doesn't have a challenge at range. A lot of timing to sneak across though, that's actually fantastic. See if he can make something of it, though. He still has Alexi Bia already downstairs, which means he can't just freely flank the ramp. Have a chance if he pops open the door, right? And he'll probably want to be pretty aggressive on swinging out and really hunting down Alexi as the Deagles come in and drop down ramp. It's going to be about right now as they turn the corner. Maybe when Alexi takes the shot, maybe they want to bait him out into a peak. There's a good dink. Yeah, now it's an issue for... Oh, that's a great double what? kill. I can't believe he holds on in a tough situation. That is such a good read. That is such a good process of information. Okay, you want to hold me here and they get closer? No, no, no. They don't expect me to peek, therefore. Goes out, nails the first one. He's laughing about it, too. It's like, yeah, yeah. You thought I was the fool. And also, I mean, I, I don't I don't know if this necessarily would have won a straw the round if they get this kill, even if it's clean, even if it's just like a double dink immediately from Glaive. But it at least just denies the plant, denies some extra money to going over. You can see a couple nades being missed. Zipix without flashbang, same with Blame F. There's, there's, there's resources missing due to the fact that the plant didn't come in. Farley with no head armor. That's actually nuts. So Nip take their first lead. Rez gonna take Farley as well. He's looking sharp now. Gets aggressive on the off this time. Haven't seen too many straight duels with him yet, though, because he did get a few eco yeah. frags outside. But it, yeah, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for all of it to be positive as long as he's hitting the shots. It's also, there's no, there's well, there's no doubt. I've never really been concerned about Rez as an opera hitting hitting some of the shots. It's about you know, is he gonna know how to position himself right. and rotate a, and handle different situations? Yeah, exactly. Primary opera is different than picking it up as a duplicate or as a secondary yeah. or just picking it up late in a round situationally, right? He's got to make the the openings. Round two. Oh! <laughs> Peace. Welcome to the big leagues, boy. Yeah, that's a shot and a half. That'll put a smile on your face. Finds an equalizer essentially for free. That was a foolish shot. Brolin this time rotating silently down the ladder. So he's going to try and combat the fact that they're getting towards secret. Rez still watching the big garage, make sure they can't push all the way through. So this should confirm that they're heading down those stairway stairwell. But... Two already down there, one on the ramp, and Brolin with a large task in front of him. Door's not open, so they need to be aware. Good headshot on the first. Not going to overstay his welcome. Flashes it off and falls away. This will mean Glaive has to go hunting and make more noise. And when he goes through the door instead, Alexi B's ready to combat that bomb down now inside of the door. It's going to make things a bit awkward for Astralis, specifically for Zipix, who's trying to get back to it. Baits it, gets it, but cut off as Brolin will not let him retreat to the vents. Blame F's gonna try and just save this AWP. 12 seconds left, so it goes six to four for an IP. Yeah, and Astralis is looking a little lost and discombobulated on this T side. It's now a six to one run for NIP on the defensive side. Remember, Astralis has even burned a timeout at a certain point during this to try and adjust and try and come up with some solutions, and they haven't been able to find it just yet. Money's a problem, as we know right now. Everyone's huddled right around 3K. No plant as well, which is not gonna help them buy in any way. So thankfully, Astralis has the pistol, which gives them a little bit of more space to struggle with. That's a nasty shot. Not able to capitalize on it, though. Let's 
So you blame F can beat them toward ramp this time. Oh, he's taking it off. He says, screw it. If I can't win this with a rifle, I want the duel in my favor firmly. So that saved off stays in his hands and he tries to get an opening inside with it. I gotta find that shot. They know where it was, not where it is. It can rotate so quickly. And he's gonna take, presumably, I would have said back outside, but he hasn't moved that way yet. Starting to see some dynamic positioning out of Rez as well now. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, more than happy to go into different spots. Let's see if he can see anything on top of the silo. Utilities coming out. He's spotted Mister. They also know the position of that AWP as well. He might just want to play it safe, knowing he's up against pistols. Hampus is looking for something over the smoke. This is risky. Going to slide out and get the first, but he's pretty well committed, and Glaive wrapping around behind is going to take him down. Yeah, he was down twice there. I think Farley was going to push through the smoke on him as oh, he hit the ground. Brolin. They're actually close to Brolin. Yeah, he goes down. Oh, they're going to go above him. They're going to take... He, he's just giving heaven away. Bomb got thrown down, though. He knows it now. He knows it, absolutely. He saw that bomb get tossed. So that should give anyone inside indication that they need to be aware of heaven, but S-Tag knows that he can't give up on Annex yet as well. So he's starting to walk that direction as Blame F's rounding the corner with that AWP. The M4 for Zipix has been garnered and gained in this round alone, but it's given them a second rifle to work with. And they're going up, they're all going up. They know that they've pushed him down. So Alexi B needs to be ready for it. S-Tag's got the shot instead. Alexi follows it. AWP in position. Only for one so far. But a one on three. He is pinched up there. He's got res as well. Does he jump down around? Brolin's got to turn quickly. Oh my goodness. Blame F. He might have a chance at this. Swinging in. Has him in the corner. But legs and Brolin jumps back smartly. Did he get him? Uh, he didn't get him before time went out. Or he didn't go down before time went out. So You're right. Yeah, Blame F has no money. 550 bucks in the bank. That hurts. <laughs> That's because he saved in the last round as well. Wow. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Back to back saves essentially. He was trying to go down before the time of the round ran out, but that was not accomplished. And an awkward situation. And you're right. That drop down from Brolin was a little bit risky, but he's given the gift of a reload from Glaive, the bomb falling down and descending. So it gives him all the information and a kill he needs. Good shooting from Blame F. But just. Too little, too late, and well after the time. Rez is waiting again toward the radio. Radio was a good movie. Radio was a good movie. Hey, one we can agree on, finally. Cuba Gooding Jr. It was a, it was a very sentimental one. Rez, good shot. Catches Blame F out, who is the man without the gun, so was trying to get information. The rest are outside. So they know Rez's AWP isn't there, but there's an early rotation down the ramp as a result of this, so it's not like they're going to have a rite of passage toward the B side as Hampus tries to spray and does no damage. That was all he was hoping for. This nade, though, bouncing off the backboard, is going to collect oh. some on his Zipix. Rez takes out Mister. Yeah, I'm surprised he took that fight. I don't think he realized they were that close, or else he might have made a different decision. But again, Astralis going down low. They've been blocked off entirely. Alexi has been able to read this and get down to the lower bomb site in time each and every round they've come here. Now he's going to back away as the smoke fades. Alexi B. Still trying to find space inside of control. Not going to spread to him. Avoids the flash. Counters the flashback, and the window behind was blown out at the same time, so they might think he's outside, but he stepped in on top of the flames, and Farleg's going to reveal or to rather, sorry, confirm that position. Alexi's buying so much time. So much time and getting a kill on top of it. Yeah, they've got no chance now. The, the Molotov they throw to flush him out of that position actually denies access for them to push forward and hunt down that kill. And the fact that they wasted like 15 seconds trying to find Alexi, 10 seconds trying to find Alexi in control, just allows all the rest of the defense to rotate into position. NIP is up 8-4. to four. Up 8-4. to four, It's now an 8-1 to one run, hitting his shots with the AWP. Hamp is going to be outside. Chunks down Glaive with a grenade. 69 HP. Spamming through the smoke, he's gonna clean it up. Good job from Hampus, he probably hears more footsteps. There is a player down low, that's gonna be Alexi, and he's using all his utility to delay, all of his utility to block them off. So once again, a straw gained control of Secret, but have nowhere really obvious that's gonna be all that comfortable to attack into. Alexi B does damage on the cross, but confirms information. More importantly, Hampus only good for one. So Blame F, oh, the bomb went inside of the vent though. Of course it did, of course he dies outside. Good wraparound though. Mr. getting the shot off successfully. Good find from S Tag to get Farley back down, but Blame F's still in this. 12 HP, though, gonna be a very difficult order. 
Yeah, and as you said, bomb is in vents. And S Tag just needs to find the right timing on this. And even if he doesn't, Blame F has to be absolutely perfect. But if he can find S Tag before Brolin's able to get involved in the action, Brolin's low as well. So that could even things out. Actually, they give up the bomb entirely because Brolin's rotated all the way back up ramp room. And there's S Tag slides out. Blame F can't do it, can't handle it. Nine to four. Final two rounds of the first half. And NIP have no money issues at this point. They can survive anything that's thrown at them. Five round lead. Five round leads. And again, only the one gun round for Astralis. They'll be back to weapons this time. All AKs. Farlig has not had the benefit of an AWP at all, really, this half. I know T-side nuke, that's subjective, but Flame F already inside smoke. Goes quick. Oh, s -tank. He was caught backing off with a knife in hand, and Brolin's going to get traded. This is a bit better. Change the pace. Catch out an IP. Yeah, they needed it. They were getting picked apart, going slow and moving around the map. Farlig, one kill so far in this half. Trying to hold off any kind of ramp pressure. Just going to back away from it. He's got a teammate in hut. And Alexi's gonna work his way towards Squeak Door. He's out by the vent. Three players in the site to find, and he can't do it at all. Glaive puts him down. Hampus and Rez, I, I mean, they don't need to save. They have all the money in the world. But it looks like they're not concerned really about going for this in any meaningful sense. So another gun round for Astralis, and a chance to potentially still make this a 9-6 half. Hampus has overstepped his bounds a little bit as Zipix down below is able to spot him very quickly. I think that's just an attempt to find some, some kills on the exits, just because they know Astralis has no money built up, so maybe they can get a, some damage done and have an easier time in the final round of the first half, but obviously it didn't work out. No, not at all. And obviously they have enough money that that doesn't matter anyway, so... At least one more for Astralis before the half. Fourteen kills for Alexi B, by the way. Not bad at all. Perhaps the two prettiest were against pistols, oddly enough, but the downstairs play was yeah. pretty smart, pretty swift. Yeah, it was. Here we go. Final round of the first half. Can Astralis pull another one down the stretch? Man, that, that pistol and ensuing two rounds afterwards, rounds two and three, is really kind of the lifeline for Astralis. This is a cool play. Blamef has gone down the vents, and I don't think anybody knows, nobody realizes it whatsoever. Blamef. Be quiet down below. It's kind of hard for them to get in action, though. I mean, you can either go ramp room and try and meet up with him and have Blame F cut off rotations. You can go secret and have Blame F cut off rotations as well, which looks like what they're about to do, setting up a smoke wall outside. Did they send him forward there to cut off ramp? I mean, he's, no, he's in, vents. in the vents. Yep, that's all he wants. Anyone to drop down vents. So he'll wait and see what the response is going to be. Brolin's all the way outside. He's gone through lobby, he's outside upstairs, he's not gonna see anyone, and with no action in lobby, this this is the obvious call, right? Because you have a player in ramp, they have to be outside. Farlig coming back around. It's cut off by S Tag, so now that confirms completely that they're down below. Blame F's only good for one, Hampus gets the response. So he did leave the vents in the ends because his teammate had already crossed over. Alexi B, top of the bomb, spy low, gets spotted from control. I don't even think he realized where he was being shot from because he was looking down. But it's Hampus that gives NIP back the lead in terms of the manpower. It's 20 seconds to play with as well as they want to try and get that bomb in position. And as they do, smokes and flashes will come through from the ramp side. Hampus, not able to see it. Glaive's on 19. And he's stuck in the middle of the site right now. Needs a perfect headshot with that AK as he slides forward instead. And he waits it out. Then I, Hampus, I don't know if he sees him or not. I was going to say, it's going to be timing based if he swings around that corner. He does go down. Brolin's got Mr. And it's going to be a 10 5 half NIP with the defused. Absolutely right. Rez was seven. Was not really challenged directly with that op too many times. We'll see if they go for the T side of one or not, if they can get the money in their favor. Because that was something that Farley never, ever had. He was 1 and 11 in that first half. Blame F, aware that they're outside already, is going to swing behind smoke. Can't hit the shots quite as cleanly this time as he did in the opening pistol round, but he's going to get another crack at it. Oh, no, Alexi B. They've tripped over each other as he went for that shot, and Blame F, call it two for one. You may as well. He's on 17. He'll back away, but the rest of the NIP players, the three that remain, will go down and challenge Glaive. Oh, I take that back. Brolin's actually sneaky on this. Ooh. So it's only two. Oh, 
yeah, nice shot with the duelies. Alexi's just making sure Hampus knows that he's the in-game leader. He's just making sure that he's establishing dominance within the hierarchy of the team. Takes him down really quick. Sends a message. So this is still winnable between Brolin and Estag. Estag does have the bomb on his back. Smoke flash as well. It's gonna be tough to find the timing to clear out vents though. Glaive is being very, very patient with it. Br Brolin has gone back towards lobby, so that's how they want to clear out vents. They actually want to sandwich it from beneath and, and above. Glaive doubling up, takes down S tag. Brolin rotated all that way around just to realize the door was closed, and he didn't really have an avenue to get into the vents to actually help clear it in any way. And even if he did, even if it was open, Mister was waiting right behind it. So 20 seconds, 1v3. He's at least forced Mister back, and Burst Fire is going to miss its mark. Yeah. And that's all she wrote. Yep, he wanted to get that last bit of damage in, thinking he did more than he actually had when he fell down. And now it's double pistol for Astralis, so the hard way for NIP, but they still have a 10-6 lead. That's, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You go right, I'll go left. Oh, God. Yeah, or just step right in front of me. Like I said, just establishing dominance. That was all according to plan. You know, first pissed around on the first official with the new lineup. Like, you got to let him know early. You don't want those issues to peak, crop but back up. Not only that, I mean, Blame F's so good at baiting that he baited the other team into killing themselves. <laughs> yes, you know? fair point. Inventing new styles of getting it done. Yeah, wow, it works. They've got, like I say, the, both pistols in this game now. They went 3-0 off the first one. They'll see if they can do the same this time. Blave forced out by the smoke, though. So a bomb plant looking likely, which might mean we go to an early buy if NIP can get the bomb down because there's a lot of fire and flames on top of the site. Nice nade back from Brolin. That makes things a bit worse for them up above, and Zipix knows that bomb is being planted but can't overcommit on the peak, so Rez gets it down. Ooh, Zipix up above the ladder. Blave's gonna start peeking into the bomb site. Astralis need this. Here comes the utility for the retake. What a late lurk from Hampus though. This can be so impactful. Is it fixed? He's gonna get both. And now that makes it very difficult for Hampus to save the day. And in fact, Zipix knows exactly what's coming. Yeah, Hampus on six, so they'll defuse this, no problem. Hampus is trying to fight valiantly and do further damage, but unfortunately he's gone. So look, job done. They got a bomb plant. That had to be the goal for this. They can now get an earlier buy in the half, although they're not in a great situation. So you need to debate if you want to force this much or maybe you just, well, okay, they're going to call it tech. So yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I thought it was going to be tactical when I saw the time mount come in, but it's a tech. So uh, yeah, but they, they could force behind this, but they've also still got a lead that they may not want to give up. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the right way to approach it as well. Didn't get, I don't think, I think maybe if you get one or two more players, you can justify a little, that a little bit more, but especially considering there's three kills on the SMG from Zipix, he's got plenty of money to drop rifles over. Uh, yeah, you just don't upgraded pistols, but trying to spend not a whole lot of money. Jumping, oh, gosh, Farley, aggressive, just shuts down as tag midair. No further action from him on that one. Couldn't get a shot off, even as Brolin waits outside of the hut for a chance to potentially pop through. He's the only one that's in that position right now is the rest are just setting up, see if there'll be any responses and maybe another bomb plant play out of this. Looking like they're gonna take some utility upstairs. Take that back. As soon as I say it, they shuffle that to outside. So they didn't go for the earlier buy with that bomb plant down. Just some upgraded pistols, bit of armor. And so far, well, I was going to say, nothing to report from it. Brolin hits a lovely shot on the flame map. Now they can try and run forward to get that gun. Need an additional smoke to do it. Nope, not even going to go for it. They're going to commit to the plan. Just get downstairs. And they go. Yeah. Glaive is the one that waits. Damage onto Hamas, but that's all. Nice and quick. Glaive going to tuck himself into the back of the bomb site. A lot of pressure being applied, though. Alexi stepped up in this scenario previously. Zipix again with the SMG going to chime in. He's the only one left, and oh, he almost lined him up. SMG going to work. Brolin drops him as well, and into a two-on-two -two we go. In the door, Brolin, just to give himself some more space. A little bit more of a trigger to try and work with. He knows he's going to be surrounded on this. Tries to wait it out with the... M4. Now, he had the body armor, not the head armor, but he didn't have the HP to withstand it either way. So that one was a sitting shot for for Lig. Rez trying to get over to the Tech-9 instead. A couple of taps. Headshot from that range could have been problematic for Astralis, but we go 10 to 8. So again, they go 3-0 off the pistol. Now the guns come out. Now the guns come out. Now we get to see what Astralis' defense is going to be made of. We also get to, I mean, obviously the first glimpse also of Elexi B captainship of NIP on the T side. We saw it on the CT side. He was very, very good individually. 
Let's see what he's got here to close this one out. NIP needs six rounds in regulation to get it done. 10 to 8. No off out yet for Astralis. There is an AWP in the hands of Rez. Flame blind has to sit back at the main entrance. Alexi trying to find some damage with spam through the hut. And upstairs they go. We are going to have, as you say, that op on res right away. No presence outside yet for an IP. Campus is close up to the boxes. Give up lobby control as well. They had some presence there just to make sure there were no pushes, but now a lot of players heading outside with the smoke wall being set up. Zipix trying to act off the initial exchange from his teammate. Clave inside of the main entrance, that smoke down. If they wrap too quickly, if they don't counter his position, he's going to be perfectly suited. Lovely shot from Brolin to get Zipix back. Gun barrel shows Glaive. He was too slow to act. Alexi B finds it. It's back to a three on three with Flame F already revealing his position outside as well. Mister still waiting in the upper bomb site. Alexi and Hep is going to go challenge towards Blame F. He's got a job to do as he climbs the ladder. I don't know if he was spotted. Oh no, Hampus isn't seeing it. Never spotted the head, so not looking upwards. And Blame F has now tucked his he head down. Now. He will now. Yeah, he will. He's got him right through the base, right through the flooring. And a flashbang to pop the upper site. Here goes Alexi. Rap is the first call we see. Taps. This could net it. Oh no. Gone down. Farley has bomb though. Time. 14 seconds. He's going to flash in and try and rotate around this. Alexi, he doesn't know where he's gone. The fact that he's walked silently over toward the hut means they have to cross him again. He knows they have to go to the site. He's going to hold. He's going to spray. He's going to get both. It's 10 to 9. What a phenomenal play from Farley. The reposition is everything. And oh man, the plant's in the corner. He knew exactly where it had to be. They didn't want to risk crossing that gap. And a nice double kill. A 1v3 victory for Farley. And we got another technical timeout. Brolin this time has PC issues, but that will give them time to reflect mentally, no less, because they won't be allowed to chat about this. That was a great reposition. Yep, it was beautiful. You there as it was running down, which kind of forced them into the, the plant in the corner. So round 20. Boost up in towards ramp room. Alexi's already out the squeak door, but Farley's going to be aggressive. The hero of the last round, only six kills, but what a high impact he had previously. Double kill here to start things out. Unarmored opposition, or at least no head armor. And Alexi, how much of a play does he want to make through this smoke? He could get activated by a flashbang. He's got teammates behind him, but as it clears, he's going to make his move, and Glaive finds the timing. And the NIP attack has stalled out. Back toward the radio room for Brolin and S-Tag. But stalled is certainly one word for it. It's about to be completely dead as they walk in. Great positioning from Zipix to make that so. He's got the first flash in. He can just fall off the angle. And here comes the rotation from Turnpike. Doesn't even need it. He's got the headshot on S-Tag as well. We've got a tie game. Tie game. Seen quite a few closer affairs than we thought today. The first game, go way back. The Eternal Fire matchup against Bad News Eagles. Yeah. That looked one-sided. Went 30 rounds. Okay, sure. We had a 16 nothing from G2. That was pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. ridiculous. We've, had, we've had both ends of the stick, haven't we? Well, we have. And then we've we've really had the far end of that spectrum because we went all the way to a triple, excuse me, quadruple overtime. Yeah. With uh, phase in the previous matchup, which was Gamer Legion putting up a heck of an effort. I'm not going to lie. I mean, the uh, the shock isn't even necessarily that this is close. I, I was shocked when I saw the schedule, and I was like, oh, wow, they got to play each other on day one. <laughs> Normally, you feel like you're going to get like a little easier of a matchup to start things out. Not for these two teams. I'll put them into the event flying, then, in that sense. No easy days. Blame F corner. Oh, he's got to just extinguish that, and then he's got to jump, and he's missed the railing. Thankfully, no one sprays in on top of it. Gap of the smoke that he's identified. No one. He takes advantage of his own extinguishment to take that kill, and he'll back off now as Hampus gets ever closer. Yeah, it looked like he might have wanted to go back for more. Yeah, Farlick as well, just playing at the blue box outside. He can be a menace if they try and kind of lurk in, but it's only Hampus outside. Brolin, Rez, and S-Tag, you imagine, is going to join up to attack towards ramp room where Zipix is lying in wait. But that also relies on Hampus to be able to find this kill, to open up the other half of the attack, and he will do just that. Not fooled by the off angle. And no one else for Astralis is down low. However, Farlick still being outside is huge. Because Astra or NIP, excuse me, is readdressing to attack outside. He might get caught in transition, though, Farlick. Uh, they spotted him for sure, right? Doesn't matter. He gets the first kill. One for one trade. Fantastic stuff from Brolin. It's an important trade. 
And Hampus' position is massive. Zipix is dead. Oh, he almost fired too soon. He almost gave Zipix a chance to backpedal on that one. Molotov to cut the vents, and uh-oh, Mr. knows it now. Please get out of the way. Please let me go back up, Glaive. I feel like it was a very slow reaction, considering Farlick saw them moving back outside towards Red Box. He already had one player, and like, I felt like Glaive and Mr. probably could have made this move a little bit earlier, but at the moment, they just feel like they're cut out of the round. So NIP is going to regain the lead. 10 to 11. And with three surviving, some reinvestment required, but both teams going to have an okay amount of money in the next round. Farley, even with 55, wouldn't be surprised to see his op come out immediately. Brolin on 22. Not bad. We knew he was a star fragger and had that potential in him for years, but now it's interesting to see it come out on Nip and see if Alexi can activate him because he's usually pretty good at finding people yeah. like that and making them work. And I was going to say, I, I mean, Brolin coming into this team was expected to be like a very loud, very substantial addition and impact immediately. And I feel like at times Brolin's addition has been like quiet and subdued. So maybe again, maybe there's uh, something to this roster change that might unlock him as the prospect that we all know him to be. Or at least you'd hope so, if you're part of NIP. It's all spilling over from the roof onto the hut. And the outside smokes again for NIP. Hampus is the closest further, excuse me, I should say closest forward, most further forward. Blame F behind smoke trying to see through that is going to be completely taken out of it and alexi b is going to get a headshot on his zipix through smoke which now puts blame into a bit more of an interesting situation glaive's there he's gonna spray he's got the gap to fire and he goes down as well though and blame f is going to get spotted alexi with that one so now we're looking at another five on two situation and farley with the op up close does at least get one back but this is likely to be a save as they continue to put pressure onto him yeah if they can if he can actually pull it off hampus is still staying parked outside just to be able to cut things off if he goes towards CT spawn. Meanwhile, the other three players from NIP are all down secret, ready to go. Mister's backing off towards T spawn as well. And yeah, you're exactly right. I think this has to be a save at this point. Strauss trying to get a little bit clever, a little bit cute with the edges of smokes. Hampus is going to find Farley at the end of the day. So the AWP is dropped and Astralis have no money. 150 on Zipix and Farley. Glaive's got some cash, excuse me, to spend. Splame F is right on the edge when the bonus money comes in. So an interesting decision for Astralis to have to make in the later stages of this map in terms of their economy and what they can spend. So Mister is not going to be anywhere near this exchange. And IP going to take another round. This is big. Again, the gun rounds have been huge. Yeah. Astralis have not been able to really answer the call. Got to love that. Just camping the op. Yeah. Park yourself on it. Make sure no one can have it. It's yours, baby. Be selfish. There's the kill on a glaive. He tried to get some spam kills, a small gap in the smoke, and Alexi as well. Three through smoke that round, because Zipix started it off with a headshot as well. So everything worked out super well for them to go outside in that situation. Boom. So 12 to 10 now for NIP. Actually get to see an explosion there. No, it's fine. We didn't need one. We knew it was going to happen. <laughs> was that for, was yeah, that, that, was, that was just that, giving yeah. me a head shake? Yeah, that was. He was giving you the <laughs> no. Cheeky buggers. 12 to 10. I don't know if I want to say like NIP is in like firm control. The money is going to make it interesting. This sir can drop a weapon. Ampus outside as he has been in so many rounds quickly as well. Smoke's already down though. Pistol's getting closer. You can hear them marching up. So he's going to try and sit back on a more favorable angle for himself. Interesting little position and boost for Mr. to try and see above and into the doorway. Challenge is going to go toward ramp, and that's where Farling's waiting. Headshotting. Get, get, get your headshot removed, Angle, because it's Alexi B with a great shot in return. Pop flashes and everything else to try and cover it off. The only M4 in the round. Mister's holding it. He's taking that downstairs as well into the control room. And even though Blave has more HP, Mister has the armor. That's why they're leaving it on him at this point in time as Blame F gets removed. And off Angle, M4 should get at least one. Oh, but Alexi's got the shot on that as well. Alexi's got that New Jersey buff at the moment. He's feeling good in the... Black and neon green. Oh, nice shot from Glaive as Hampus turns the corner. No idea he was there. The utility going to be spent to protect the plants. This is this is interesting, though. It's, it's still worth going for because the bomb's not down, so take a peek. But also, 
be careful of it because you've already got the three kills on this. You've got two guns picked up. If you can get another kill, though, now you're really making a contest of it because Zipix comes in at the right time. It's all on to Brolin. No kits in Not play almost. on this yet. Brolin's rotating around. The kit, there it is. It's in control. I was going to say there was one in the round. I was trying to find it on the map. It's because it was actually in front of where Brolin was looking. But they're going to tap it first off and then look toward the window because they know he was there. He's got the first shot already. This will make his job easier now as he isolates it down against Zipix. Flash out. It's over. He's got to stick it if he wants to win this. And Brolin ain't ever going to let a 10 second defuse come out. So even if Zipix gets the kill at the end of the day, which he does not, good clutch from Brolin. 1v2 to save the round, to save the day. And it's 13 to 10. That would have been a huge hiccup. That would have been a massive obstacle for NIP. Three rounds away from taking their first match here at the RMR. But it does go back to what I said and the fact that they at least broke them down. So they're not going to have enough money for the entire rest of the half, which they would have done if there was five players surviving in that. So yeah. they at least give themselves some potential chance at a comeback at 13 10. Well held from Brolin to keep his nerves together in that one. They got to start winning now. This is the full buy. Plenty of utility. They've got the op out in the hands of Farlick. Again, no kit. Missing a few little resources, critical resources. Farlick just looks away. And, oh, Alexi almost had a free kill. Just barely missed the timing. But Alexi's down vents. Yeah, I don't think Astralis realize it. And this time, the secret passage is... Not for free, they take a little bit of damage to the Molotov, but it might pull them right into Alexi. It will indeed. Mither gets, or Mister, excuse me. Completely wrong player. Yeah, gets different punished. player altogether, but uh, <laughs> either way, he's down. Zipix is going to try and swing. Oh, good shot of the door. Denying Zipix a chance to do anything of it. And look at Rez playing next to it. That's going to be a double, though, if he opens it. Yeah. He's going to be a... Oh, it's not. Aztec got the bomb done in time. Twice he evades him. Oh, oh. Luckily... Oh, it didn't. It spread back. I was going to say, luckily, it bounced far enough to let him back through, but it didn't. I it's think spread back toward him, and he's gonna. Oh, oh. I was gonna say he's gonna get caught as well with low HP. This actually might be even worse. I think it might actually pull him back into attempting to go for this. Last tag waiting for it. Door open. This should be a clean shot. They try and go on the back side of the flash. Well, he's looked away. Flame F's got it. He's forced out from Flames. They know he's low, but Hampus holds it together. 14 10. Incredible play from Hampus. Oh, man. Blame F and Glaive. That one kill pulls them right back, and they lose everything because of it. But what a heroic effort from Hampus. As the Flames come into his feet, as he's burning, he's brought down to 16 health. Yeah, I don't know what Rez's plan was, just kind of body blocking that door. Not really prepared for any kind of actual fight to come from it in the RMR. Well, they, they've looked shaky. I mean, Pro League, they got eliminated from their group as well. They have not looked solid. No question about that. Rolling with a couple of pre-fired shots. Rez, there we go. There's the AWP. We're seeing it up to 10th kill now. He hasn't had to do a ton in this map. It's Nuke as well, which is situational for the AWP, but no mistake that time. from Hampus to see if anyone is on the receiving end of those inside of the site with a Molotov through the door as well, just clearing the angle, even trying to spray it after a few seconds if anyone was daring to extinguish or run away from it. So Blamath has the only, well, not, the only weapon that's not a pistol on the team SMG. He's got it in secret. There's some deagles and a 5.7, so they can, they, can, they can do damage with it. They can do work. So much utility, though, for NIP. One minute left on the clock as they deploy smokes for the wall outside. Whoa. Deuces. Wow. Peaked before it. The Deagle at the crosshair placement, almost perfect, but it doesn't matter. Blame F, though, could surprise them. Goes forward to the Molly and Rez nails that as well. NIP looking pretty uh, composed, I think, right now. Alexi just singing a tune that they're uh, certainly on board with at this point. Like you say, maybe Jersey Buff could be a bit of a honeymoon. Doesn't matter because NIP looking like they're going to put the. Map points on the board against Astralis with Hampus taking out Zipix. It's all on to Mister, and uh, I'm not sure that this is what he signed up for when he stepped in. <laughs> Look, it's it's a great opportunity regardless oh, yeah, of no, what of happens, course. right, for someone in his position. Absolutely. He, he, of course, I say that facetiously, given he's in yes. a one on five. Yep. But but yeah, you, no question, you take that opportunity. No one in their right mind on an academy team would say no if the, the seniors come to you and ask you to step in. That's a compliment of your skills and also a great, like you say, case to showcase them off. Chance to showcase them off, I should say. And who knows? I mean, just because you're in one team's academy doesn't mean you're locked there. Look at Monacy. True. True, he did find a way out. 
He's in a great position now. And then that's all because he should have himself. That got nade. Punch. No. Alexi's going to go through it. You're right. It is potentially going to be. He's got Mr. Oh, good find from Zipix. If he gets down that vent, that's a huge problem. I thought they were going to follow it up as a team, but Alexi's been able to make that play like three or four times throughout this half. He's had it when he's wanted it, and, and previously he hasn't been able to get that kill on top of Hut, but he has been able to sneak down vent. Blame F to deal with. Hampus is going to be the first one at it. Immediate dink. And there's Rez with the Tech-9. Able to get the equalizing trade. And Brolin hears footsteps down Venn. He's going to call that out. Glaive, quick. What? Okay. Going to go back up. There's two down there. And he's actually given that position up. I would have thought he sticks on that, but it's because they actually rotate the ramp down instead. It's such a dangerous rotation, which is why it's that's the entire point of Alexi getting down in that position where we've seen him to cut it off, is like if you lose control of that vent uh, on the CT side, like you just can't rotate through there. And I think once Blame F goes down, Glaive in his head or is just like, it's not worth me coming down here because I, they could be waiting for me in so many different positions. Brolin's caught trying to hold on to Lobby with that crunch. And Estag and Rez, they were coming back up to try and attack and split that upper bombsite for Mini. All they have left now is the lower bombsite where Farleg is waiting. Up for Farleg, both angles that he'll need to cover. Door opened by Estag, smoked in by Rez. That covers the mid side of the site and makes Farleg's job a little bit more difficult, so he has to. Well, I was going to say, try and swing wide and get a better angle behind the silo, but they're going to put a Molotov in behind instead. Rez is tagged and touched by that town to 19 HP. Bomb has been planted. Another smoke up close for them, which will allow Zipix to clear without control being as much of an issue. S-Tag's got the first though. Spins it out. They reveal the position, but it's going to be an AWP. Rez, a time to see if that primary op roll is going to benefit him as he goes aggressively, can't find it. Zipix has it, and it'll be 15-11. Yeah, it's nearly an impossible situation for him to actually come out on top of that really, really tough scenario. Although, if he'd got Zipix, Farlick with the op might have been in a, in a weird position. 15-11. Astralis survived the first map point for NIP. They've got four left, four more chances, and they've got plenty of money to work with as well. Pretty solid job to at least come back into that, giving up the vent, like you say, but then still wrapping around. Alexi B going down may have been the real yes. fork in the bottle that was opened. I think, we, I think they'll probably go back to that strat and idea at least one more time before all is said and done. Hampus has got to be careful because he did not spot Blame F. He saw Farlick far back with the AWP, but he did not see Blame F creep into this corner. Farlick can watch above Blame F too. All he needs is information if anyone's going to drop over him. That's all they need to worry about. Still baiting away the shots and Blame F. Oh, he was going to check it, but he didn't check the close corner. He only looked back toward the bottom of the Twinkie, and that's why he's gone down Blame F with the kill. And Alexi B doesn't even dare trade it because he knows there's other eyes on that corner as well. Blame oh. might capitalize on this. He might chase another one for him. And he's got the damage on the res as well. Puts him on 26. Hold inside of the site. Mister's got us tagged down. This is looking lovely as Astralis now find their 12. What a great round from Blame F. Obviously, three kills is something special, but you're also funneling and, and enforcing NIP to make it a play towards the other side of the map to go away from you. You can see everyone's desperate to try and find something positive in the round and coming through smokes and hut. Blame F just funnels them perfectly towards the defense. See if they go quick on this and try and maybe open up a site fast. They've already got the Molotov in place on top of the hut. It's the right side, though. Leaves a gap, but there's no one going to be jumping on top of it. Alexi B, contact with Glaive. Oh, he's going to push his own Molotov. He's going to go through this. Damage taken. Oh, he's missed the chance. They really wanted to catch off NIP. That kill would have been massive to try and do so, because now Glaive knows they're in, and he's going to line him up. Bomb goes down. He's got a double. He's looking for a third. Hampus, not going to allow that to happen, but Mr. Is still there and still swinging. They've all of a sudden turned it. Hampus with two. Alexi B's got the shot above. It's on to blame F. That's ridiculous. They peeked so quickly to close it. They got a little bit zealous with their positioning. And Hampus will go back for the bomb. And Blame F has got to be so frustrated. He's like, all you guys had to do was delay. All you had to do was buy time for my flank. And that's a fine kill to give away because now they have the information early enough that they can set up for it. That they can't be caught out, but Blame F's got lovely shots. He knows Hampus is trying to challenge. He swings. He looks for the headshot, but Hampus will close it. It's 16 